say you have 20 clients at a time, but you, like you said, there's like ebbs and flows of business. Mm -hmm. And so like when they get onboarded, when they sign up, they probably have like a very long list of things they know they want for sure. Logo, web yeah. design, color palette. But once you get through all that, I'm interested in like your churn, how often, do, how long do people stay yeah. on average? And then let's say you have 20 clients active right now. How many actual daily tasks are they giving you? Yeah. I can give you kind of a snapshot into like what a normal day looks like. Obviously there, yeah. there, there it varies. Now a design service like this does have higher churn than a normal service would. Mm -hmm. And I call it like most of it's natural churn. I like to think, like, mm -hmm. I like to think it's not me. Yeah. I'm sure some of it is me and the service is not, it's just being imperfect. But there's a lot of natural churn that like, because it's so accessible, a lot of companies see it as an easy way to get what they, what they need and then just run. Mm -hmm. I'm okay That's with 